Pierre, very good evening to you. Thank you for being with us. So how do you even begin to try and stop something which appears to be quite as easy to do as digital piracy? Well, firstly, just a correction. I'm an attorney acting for the recording industry. But I have apologies. a number of initiatives. No, no trouble at all. They have a number of initiatives in place, and they've always embarked on, on campaigns of, of, of informing the public of, of the ramifications, firstly, of copyright infringement, but also allowing them through education to understand that music can be accessed through legitimate sources. And there are a number of these um, available, um, for example, Spotify, etc., have become increasingly affordable and in some cases freely accessible, funded by advertising. You talk about uh, ramifications for people who do either share this music or produce it, of course, illegally online in terms of what we're talking about, this digital piracy. Are we seeing enough of people, though, facing the consequences? Because we don't seem to hear much of it, at least not at a large scale public level. Well, look, firstly, with copyright and when there's infringement, you have to look at um, the copyright owner has to enforce that copyright, but also the Copyright Act allows for, for example, for first-time offenders, you're looking at a fine of 5,000 rand per instance of copyright infringement, etc. Um, but that's not the main primary goal. Um, like, for example, Risa, you mentioned the campaign. They've embarked on a campaign to raise awareness about music policy. That's one side of it. But they're calling music lovers to access music from legitimate platforms. Um, and as mentioned, overall showing the public that there are legal alternatives, often free. Risa's campaign makes it clear that there's no reason to pirate music or to support unscrupulous sources. What is the incentive then for a South African who says, look, I love the music, but I cannot afford to pay for it at the legitimate price? How do we encourage them to do this, especially for the benefit of artists? Because so far, that focus on the plight of artists doesn't seem to be striking the chord with those people who are still enjoying music illegally. Oh, most definitely. Uh, I mean, I think the biggest incentive there, if you look at these, these legitimate um, services, that the majority of them do offer free music streaming. And as mentioned, that's purely ad-funded. If you look at um, the costs involved, I just want to name a couple of examples. Spotify costs 60 rand a month. Apple Music and Deezer provide a broad catalog from 60 rand a month or 59.99. So whether it's affordable or not, if you want to go for the free tier offer uh, option, that is available. And interesting enough, statistics have shown that the majority of streaming provider users are actually on the paid tier and not the advertising tier. I'm wondering, Pierre, if the battle is not lost at this stage, because I remember even growing up, there are already adverts running on TV saying, do not pirate music, do not buy fake DVDs on the side of the road, yet every once in a while we come back to this very point. Yeah, no, look, uh, this also has been beaten significantly. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think when you look at it now, the market has changed significantly as well. Back in the day, you had CD piracy and you had one or two options and you can go and buy it from the store. With the landing of MP3s back in 1999, the market changed significantly and the music industry has caught up. And with the digital offerings that are available, um, I don't think there's a reason to pirate anymore. Um, and I think it's now a question of awareness where people should just be made aware that these services do exist and that they can access them and often free. And the majority of them do have a free tier offer. And, and I think that's now the, the battle out there. It's just education and awareness. And again, this is where this campaign resource embarking on comes in. Right, Pierre Rautenbach from the Recording Industry of South Africa. Thank you so much for being on ENCA tonight.